welcome you back to the most important main event in the history of Impact Wrestling. This is Lethal Lockdown. It's GFW versus TNA. It's Damian Richards representing TNA against Sanjay Dutt from GFW. They're the first two. We know that someone from GFW will enter next. What's going to happen when all the men, all 10, I, I suppose, we know that there's going to be five from GFW. We don't know if Drew Galloway found a fifth to represent TNA. Well, there's nothing to ponder about in that situation because when all of them get in the ring, all 10, hopefully, we're going to have a hoopla on our hands, if you will. The top of the cage will come down once all the combatants are inside. It's at that point that you can win the match by pitfall or submission. Jawbreaker there by Sanjay Dutt. That one-man advantage is so important, and you're going to see that momentarily when it becomes two on one. It's very important. It's a handicap, and that's what it becomes. If it comes down until all five men get in, you said it before, as Sanjay pounds away on the head of David Richards, it's two on three, then it's three on two, four on three, and it goes Ooh. on. Just counter by Davey Richards. Once again, congratulations to the Wolves. Davey and Eddie on reclaiming the TNA World Tag Team titles. But Josh, here's, what, here's what's important in this match. Here's what you gotta do as David Richards prepares to go for, well, he's been blocked there by Sanjay. He bit his head. He's biting his head. Sanjay Dunn. Oh! It's a unique way to escape the grasp of Davey Richards. A dastardly way, if you will. But as Pope was saying, here's what's important for Davey Richards. He has to incapacitate Sanjay Dunn so that way when the second man comes out for GFW, he's not faced with a two-on-one situation. That's what you do to survive this. That's a great point. And Davey Richards continues to go to work here. Continues to build momentum against Sanjay Dutt. And trying to incapacitate Sanjay Dutt is not going to be an easy task. I want to thank everyone out there for making hashtag winner take all trend worldwide via Twitter tonight. Again, who will be in control when we go off the air? Will GFW be celebrating in our ring, on our turf? And we still don't know who the fifth man will be for TNA. Here we go, the countdown is on. We know it'll be someone from GFW in five seconds. Davey Richards continues to go to work here. Potential submission maneuver. Try to wear down Sanjay Dutt, because remember, this match cannot end until the end. Horse wrestling. Hope we were shocked last week with this man. The psychotic Eric Young took the guitar from Jeff Jarrett and bashed it over the head of Drew Galloway. You know, and shocked last week, I'm shocked looking at what I'm looking at right now. Nice clover leaf again applied, and that's what Pope was talking about. You gotta slow him down, stop him. Oh, there's opponent. Sanjay Dunn from behind. How's Davey gonna fight off two men? two members of the GFW roster. You put your back to a corner, you put your back to a cage, and you swing away, Daddy. That's what you do until you can't do it no more. How much damage will be done to Davey Richards before someone from Team TNA comes out here to even up the numbers yet again? You know, you was talking about being surprised at uh, the bearded terror, EY. You, you know, I, I've seen people over the years take a hit for the team. And Pope was hoping, in the back of my mind, I was hoping, what if EY was just doing this to help out TNA? But after his action, and after seeing him come in and, and, and help out Sanjay right now, it's all clear where his allegiance lies. Eric Young is deranged, he's bloodthirsty. You've seen what, he, what he's done over the past number of weeks to Sarge Chris Melendez. Eric Young did sell out. He'll tell you that he bought into GFW, but Eric Young sold out TNA, sold out everyone on the roster. He's a turncoat, plain and simple. He's wearing green because he thinks the grass is green on the other side, if you ask folk. He's a traitor, is Eric Young, and we're five seconds away from evening this up and two members from each team in lethal lockdown. Nice entry, representing Team TNA, Drew Galloway. Drew 
Galloway was the first one to stand by the side of Dixie Carter. Drew Galloway was the one who figured out that it was Karen Jarrett that orchestrated the attacks on the law and Galloway. Look at Drew Galloway go. If you want somebody on your team, if you want to fight beside oh. somebody, you want that man, Drew Leonidas Galloway, daddy. Galloway has even things up. Who will gain the control here as the lockdown continues after this? Welcome back to Wednesday Night Impact. This is our main event. It's the lockdown for the control of TNA between TNA and GFW. During the break, Brian Myers from Team GFW has entered the fray. So the numbers game again in the advantage of GFW. And once again, the TNA competitors, representatives right now are on their back. That's what happens when you get a man advantage inside of the sixth side of seal lockdown match. And Sanjay Dutt, Eric Young, and Brian Myers representing Global Force Wrestling. Davey Richards and Drew Galloway in, and here we go. We're six seconds away from someone from Team TNA. It will be even at three members apiece. The next entrant representing TNA Wrestling, The Destroyer! Lashley! Two-time world champion, The Destroyer, has even things up at three apiece. Let's get it, Lashley, it's about time. German suplex turns Sanjay Dutt inside out. And look at him go, Josh. The tank that moves like a race car. Lashley's on oh, fire, Daddy. Lashley's taking out all three members of Team GFW. And a spear to Eric Young. A spear to Sanjay Dutt. Uh-oh, Josh, you know what time it is. Classic Lashley with the standing vertical souffle. Ashley told TNA President Dixie Carter that he would go to war for her. And you're seeing it right here from the former world champion. Now all three members of TNA are up and they're put. See, this is what happens when it's an even contest. I have no doubt in my mind that the boys from TNA are going to represent and they cannot be stood next to when it goes even, Daddy. Couldn't agree with you more. When the numbers are even, TNA clearly has the control. But the problem is the next man in will be from GFW, and it'll be four versus three. And, and that's when the tie could possibly change, as we've seen already. And again, pinfalls or submission cannot occur until everyone has entered the ring. The top of the cage. Did you see the slap? Yes, I did. The top of the cage will close shut. The lockdown will officially begin. Don't tell that to the six men in the ring right now. It's begun for them. Who will it be? Who's next? The next participant representing Global Force Wrestling, Chris Mardetsky. Perhaps the most outspoken of all the members of Team GFW, Chris Mardetsky. He called out anyone from our roster, anyone from our locker room, and he had to go one-on-one -on -one with Lashley. And look what happened. Lashley was preparing himself. He made a little mistake there because he was preparing for Chris Mordeski to get in the ring, and all of a sudden from behind, Myers took him out, which once again caused GFW to have the advantage at this point. Sanjay Dutt trying to take care of Lashley. Ryan Myers has Drew Galloway down. Mordensky all over. Davey Richards on the other side of the ring. It's allowing Eric Young to recuperate. Oh! I love the heart determination you see from Drew Galloway. You kidding me? I, Pope can't stand enough. If I'm going into war, Daddy, there's nobody that I'd rather stand beside than that man, Drew Galloway. Davey Richards in your living room. His face being pressed up against the steel.
Antonio Cage. Eric Young has Lashley snatched up, and it's allowing Morteski to fight free again. It's the numbers advantage that GFW has. And how much damage can be done before we get to the point where pinfalls or submissions are allowed? Yeah. That's a great point, because when the cage Ooh. comes down, you know, I've said it before, a man can already be subdued to a point of submission, but the cage has to be down. Everybody has to be in the ring. <laughs> and when the cage comes down, somebody may not even be able to get to their feet. Lashley counters and drops Mordetsky, and here we go. Five seconds away. Suplex there by Lashley. TNA World Tag Team Champions, here comes Eddie Edwards. And we're now four on four. And this is what I like about Ooh. when one of the Wolves keep Ooh. going, Daddy, and then that shot of caffeine that Pope needs, always wants, always looking for, always prepared for. But Pope going into this match, you and I both thought this was it. Four on four, the top of the cage would come down, and then we determine a winner. Jeff Jarrett sprung the news earlier on Drew Galloway, and we have five members on our team. Yeah, and, 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 and maybe possibly uh, we someone overlooked something, and Jeff was able to sneak that in, obviously, for this to be official, so. You gotta give it to Jeff, he, he, he's a smart man, he's very cunning, you know, he has lawyers, they, they do the work for him. Oh! Close line there by Drew Galloway. This is carnage, chaos, bedlam. All taking place inside the six-sided ring in the impact zone. Will this building be renamed the GFW zone after tonight? I doubt that. And look again as to what you and I made reference to before. When there's an even playing field, when there's an even number of men going at it, who's always on top? Who always has the upper hand? The TNA talent, Daddy. The oh, wrestlers of TNA. Look at him go! Drop toe hold there to Brian Myers. Eddie Edwards drops the elbow off the spine. Sanjay Dutt flies into the screen. Drew Galloway takes over. Galloway so powerful. So huge. Oh, Eric Young from behind. I still can't believe that Eric Young is fighting under the flag of GFW. Here we go, Josh. Who's coming out? Well, I guess we know. Introducing the fifth and final member of Team Global Ooh. Force Wrestling, Ooh. Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett returned to TNA and Slammiversary. Hope you and I were ringside, we were shocked. Thought there was gonna be a working partnership between GFW and TNA. You saw Jeff Jarrett accompanied by his wife, Karen Jarrett, and now the founder of Global Force Wrestling. He talked about how important this match is for him tonight. What's at stake? His ownership shares, money on the line, and now Jeff Jarrett fighting for control of TNA. It's five on four. Do we have a fit? And let's hope so. Uh, you, you know, look, I'm not signed on to do anything. Pope signed on to be right here from the side you called the action. Otherwise, I'd be the fifth man. But to talk about Slammiversary, Pope had a lot of respect for Jeff Jarrett. However, I do not condone the way he's conducted business. As a matter of fact, I despise it. A lot of people make deals with the devil. Hell, Jeff Jarrett, he married the devil. And now it's the five on four numbers game advantage for Global Force Wrestling. They can pick the bones of the likes of Davey Richards, Drew Galloway, Lashley, Eddie Edwards. I mean, how long has Davey Richards been in the ring? He was the first man out here. You hear that, Drew? You hear that? Well, you gotta know Davey Richards is in such great condition. That, 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 there's a reason he was the number one guy to come out and represent. We'll never be the But with the, with the advantage going to TFW at the moment, how much more energy would any of our talent have going into the fifth man? Do we have We're about to find out. Here we go. Five seconds away from finding out who will be the man, the fifth man on Team TNA. Final entrant for Team TNA, Brown 
certainly going to like this pick. The Chesterfield Plague, the fifth and final man on Team TNA. The sides are even. Battle lines. All 10 entrants have entered the ring. Now, let the lethal lockdown begin. All 10 combatants, all 10 gladiators in the ring. The top of the cage is being lowered. Lethal lockdown right after this. The top of Lethal Lockdown has been secured, and here we go. All 10 men in the ring for control of TNA. A 10-year saga concludes here tonight. Will Jeff Jarrett seize control of our company? Or will Team TNA represent for Dixie Carter? Well, let's not forget the fact that weapons right now are legal at this point, and as you saw when all hell broke loose, Ooh. the members of GFW were scattering up the ring, climbing, trying to get up that cage to get those weapons. And Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards take out Chris Mordetsky. Jeff Jarrett showed up here with his wife, Karen Jarrett, offered their hand, thought that they were going to extend the olive branch to Dixie Carter. It was all a ploy, it was all a plan to take over. And it's brought us here to tonight. It's brought us to lead the lockdown. Five versus five. GFW versus TNA. And right now, Jeff Terry just going to town with that trash can to the head of Lashley. Our guys got to get up. They got to get some, some weapons. They got to use them. That's what they're for. Jeff Jarrett thought he would come here and simply take over. That nobody would stand up for Dixie Carter. And you're looking at the men who have stood up for Dixie Carter. Drew Galloway, Davey Richards, Eddie Edwards, Bram, and Lashley. But right now they are falling. They have been taken down by GFW. Eric Young turned his back on us as well. He's a traitor. And let's not forget how important this is for the whole TNA roster, Oh, the office workers, you and I, Josh. We need our guys to come out on top right now. And we need to support them fully. And I'm letting you know, there's no bias here. I'm standing behind TNA, Daddy. And listen to the fans here in the impact zone. They're behind TNA as well, on their feet. The monitors in the back are sold out. The roster on their feet as well watching this match. Their futures will be determined by the outcome of Lethal Lockdown here tonight. Quite frankly, some people will be out of a job at the end of this show. Imagine what will happen if TNA loses here tonight. If Jeff Jarrett takes over. And Sanjay Dunn, Brian Myers, miscalculate. Lashley does not. Eric Young, thinking pile driver here on Lashley. Here comes Brand, and TNA is showing signs of life. I'm sure a lot of people were shocked when Brown came down that rail. Oh, but who's not going to stand up to make sure their job is safe? Kudos to Brown. Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. Take out Sanjay Dutt. And Lashley with a spear. That's what I'm talking about, Daddy. Give it to him. Lay it on him. TNA has to pull through here tonight. And now Jeff Jarrett is in harm's way, surrounded by TNA. Jarrett trying to get out of six sides of steel. Don't let him take him. Don't. Trying to hold on to his wife, Karen Jarrett. And Jeff Jarrett, who came into our house. Trying to take what's ours. Trying to take over. And right now, I think the boys of TNA need to let Jeff Jarrett know exactly how they feel. Start with Bram. 
this is how everyone feels here on Wednesday Night Impact. This is how our roster feels in regards to Jeff Jarrett. This is what they wanted to do when they saw him saunter in and walk in like he owned the place at Slammiversary. Lashley set Jarrett up for a nice snap souffle there. Jarrett down. TNA standing tall. The crowd is going crazy, Josh. It's pandemonium up in here. Drew Galloway thinking future shock. DDT wants to put it away. And here comes the goons from GFW. And Eric Young, a pile driver to Drew Galloway. Not good, not good. And Lashley with a spear. That's better. TNA fighting for each other here. Jeff Jarrett drops Lashley with a stroke. But here come the Wolves. What well, about you, Joshua? Pope is on the ed edge of his seat right now. This thing is something serious. It's something serious right now. Our jobs are at stake. And the Wolves are going to try to take out Jeff Jarrett. Cut off the head of the snake. Listen to Karen screaming. She can't do anything about this. What a shot by the Wolves to Jeff Jarrett and the GFW. That's what Pope's talking about, the Wolves taking out the trash, that trash being Jeff Jarrett, and they didn't only take him out, they compacted in his mind. How symbolic was that of the Wolves to take out Jeff Jarrett the way they did. Mordetsky and Bram collide in the center of the ring. Look at the carnage. Brian Myers looking for anybody from TNA to take out. Anticipation building. Who's going to walk away victorious? You know what they both was known as? Oh! Nice boot. By Leonidas himself. Look out. Come alive, Daddy. Come on, Drew Galloway. This could be it. Stand up for Impact Wrestling. It could be it. Put away Brian Myers. Put away GFW. Cover up. Future Shock and TNA survives. TNA wins. The winners of the Lethal Lockdown, Team TNA. Now get these five men out of our ring and let Davey, Eddie, Bram, Lashley, Galloway, and everyone from Impact Wrestling celebrate. This Carla has to be pleased. She has to be ecstatic. Her men stepped up. They represented, and they came out on top. TNA and the power, the control remains with Dixon Carter, Daddy. No one is taking TNA away. Not that man in the trash can or anyone else. GFW can go back to the hole they crawled out of. Whew. I can just tell you right now, I know there's a lot of people, including yourself, that right now have a sigh of relief. This thing is over with. It's finally done. Karen Jarrett can roll her husband out of the ring. Looks like tears in the eyes, not only of Karen, but Sanjay as well. This master plan, this hostile takeover, is over. And you see Lassie, Lashley tell it, Jared, get your ass out of here. What a great sight, Josh. What a great sight this is to see that turncoat crawling his way out, slithering out of the ring like the snake him and Carrie Jared are back to where they come from, wherever the hell that may be. Let him go, there. Congratulations to Team TNA. Hey, Eric Young, you backed the wrong company. And I can watch this all day long. Drew Galloway, get your shot, PDT, on GFW. Our Brian Myers and our captain wins the match for TNA. The briefcase in the hands of Drew Galloway. Company shares are safe.